Michel rất hân hạnh và vui khi trở lại với VNTV à, và đặc biệt ngày hôm nay mà sao có cơ hội để giới thiệu cô Peggy à, cũng đã đến với chương trình VNTV trong quá khứ hôm nay cô sẽ đến với à, chúng ta à, với những cái món ăn đặc biệt mùa hè rất là hấp dẫn à, Peggy today we welcome you back for the VNTV another great cooking show. So what are we cooking today? Thank you, Michelle. Thanks for having me again. And I thought I'd bring something fun today. Um, today, I, I just thought about what what I like to serve to my grandchildren when they come to visit me. I like to give them healthy things, but they like something sweet and something uh, delicious. So awesome. I thought about some fruit ice creams with using frozen fruit, and they're really easy. Mm. They have simple ingredients. They don't take any time to make, and the kids love them. Mm. And the adults love them too. So. Awesome. So what is the recipe that we are trying tonight? Okay, we're actually going to make two different kinds. Uh -huh. And we're going to start with um, a frozen banana, or it's going to be banana walnut ice cream. Ice cream. Uh -huh. Oh, I know all the kids will love it. So <laughs> yes. does adult. Yes. I love it too. So I, I'll show you how we do it. It's okay. very, very simple. And I've already measured out um, two bananas, two frozen bananas. And I want to point out that this is actually a great way to make use of your bananas that are getting a little bit extra ripe. Mm -hmm. And you don't necessarily have to eat them up right away. You can mm -hmm. put them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. I peel them first. Mm -hmm. I peel them and I usually break them up into smaller pieces yes. and put them in a plastic bag and stick them in the freezer and then they're always ready for when I need them. Wow. Right. So we go we're going to start with the bananas mm -hmm. and then we want to add liquid. Mm -hmm. So in this case we're using milk. I'm using a non-dairy milk. This mm -hmm. one is almond milk but you can use hemp milk or flax milk or coconut milk, you can use any kind any of milk, milk okay. you like. Mm. And so we're going to measure out one third of a cup. So I have a half cup measure here, so it's just going to be a little bit less than a half cup. And the reason you need to put some liquid in is because when you're using a, a blender like this, you have to have liquid so the motor doesn't burn out. Sure. So I'm going to add the milk, mm. all right, and then I've measured out um, two tablespoons of walnuts. Wow, walnut. So yeah. I'm going to add those. And then one other thing we're going to add for extra flavor uh -huh. is um, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. You can also use a vanilla bean, mm. um, but I didn't have one today, so I'm just using yeah. half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mm. That's it. That's it. That's all there wow. is to it. Awesome. And so we're going to put the lid on, okay. and we're going to hope that this works because okay. I usually use my great big uh, Vitamix blender, mm -hmm. but today I'm using my little bullet. So we're okay. going to see if, if. And how long are you going to put it in? Until it looks like it's mixed. Okay, okay. so I'm just going to watch it mm -hmm. and okay. see what happens. So sure. it's going to be a little noisy, okay? That's fine. All right. yeah. We're going to see what happens, and I'm going to let you be the first one to test it, Michelle. Oh, sure. Okay, do you see the texture? Wow. Does that look like look good? Yes. Okay, what I'm going to do is put a little bit into um, a bowl for you and give yeah. you a spoon, mm -hmm. and then you can tell me if it's, if it's any good. Okay. Thank you, Becky. Mmm. It's very, very <laughs> good. I mean, uh, it's really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really, mm -hmm. I love it. Um, thưa quý vị khán thính giả, thì uh, tôi muốn nói thêm tí xíu là bà Peggy bà vừa làm cho chúng ta một cái món ice cream với lại đậu walnut. Nó rất là đơn giản như quý vị vừa thấy, mà thật sự nó rất rất là ngon và cũng rất là lành mạnh. Nên tôi đề nghị đây là một cái món mà chúng ta có thể làm đặc biệt cho các em khi đi học về có thể làm liền trong vòng quý vị thấy là chưa đầy được 5 phút là chúng ta có một món cà rem chuối với lại đậu rất là ngon rất là tuyệt vời à, và à, chúng ta sẽ làm thêm một cái món nữa so Peggy what is our next recipe that so you're our... going to uh, show it to the audience okay our next one is uh -huh. chocolate cherry ice cream wow yeah and one. I and like why it a lot. chocolate cherry what well, is a good combination who doesn't like chocolate covered cherries have you ever had a chocolate covered cherry 
interesting. I might. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, would, they're yeah. very popular. If you go to a candy store, <laughs> they're they're very popular mm -hmm. candy. And everybody likes that combination of the chocolate and the cherry. The flavors just meld together really well. Wow. But the problem is, if you go to and eat a lot of chocolate covered cherries, you're going to gain a lot of weight. Okay. So this is a way to have your chocolate and your cherries mm -hmm. without uh, having the bad effects of mm -hmm. the sugar and um, the, f the extra fat. So this is a very healthy way to do it. Okay? Awesome. All so. right. All right. Awesome. So what we're going to do is, okay, here we go. We have our cherries already pre-measured out. This is a, a cup and a half of dark frozen cherries. Mm -hmm. They're called dark sweet cherries and they're organic. I get these at Costco, but you can find them at almost any grocery store. Awesome. All right. And so we're going to measure out again some liquid in there. And so we're going to use the same almond milk. We're going to use um, one half cup of this. Okay, there we go. One half cup, and we're going to add four dates. Now mm -hmm. these are medjool dates that I got. You can use any kind of dates. I like these ones because they're extra sweet if they're not soft, if they've been in your cabinet too long, for example, you can soften them in the microwave by mm. adding a little bit of water mm. and steaming them. So they'll reconstitute and get softer. But I took out the pits, so they won't have any problem with the pits. So we're going to add those. And actually, before I add those, let me do this first. I'm going to add, I pre-measured out two tablespoons of chocolate powder, cocoa powder. So add that to that. I'm going to put the, the dates around it. This one might be a little harder because it's, it's got more in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add, again, another half teaspoon mm -hmm. of vanilla extract, OK? Mm -hmm. For a little extra flavor. Again, there's no sugar. No sugar. Uh, just so what's, awesome. whatever's in the fruit, mm -hmm. right? The fruit is very sweet. Yes. And you're going to taste all the good flavors of the mm -hmm. fruit mm -hmm. because you're not adding mm -hmm. artificial ingredients or extra sugar. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to do this a little bit just to get it, get the liquid down in the bottom. Mm. And so this is going to make some noise again. Okay. This may take a little longer. Check this yeah. and see how it looks. Yeah. You know what? It looks pretty good, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're good. I'll test it. Wow. Yeah, does that look good? Yes. Uh -huh. Surely. Yeah. Smell. Mm. Does that smell so good? good? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some in a bowl yeah. and then you can taste it and tell me what you think. This one didn't get quite as mixed, I think. Mm -hmm. It would take maybe a little bit longer. That's good enough. But try that. Yeah, thank you again. You have to try it with me too. Okay, I'll try some. Mm. What do you think? I like this one. You like Actually better than the other really? one. Really? You like it better mm -hmm. than that? Really? I mean, That's good. It's different flavor. Thưa quý vị, cái món recipe thứ nhì cũng là cà rem mà bà Peggy vừa mới hướng dẫn chúng ta. Cái mùi vị của nó nó khác hơn là tại vì nó có chocolate. Cho nên nó, và đặc biệt là nó có một cái um, cái uh, vị là làm cho cả cherry với lại chocolate nó 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 hỗn với nó nó hợp lại với nhau rất là ngon very good very mm. delicious reference dạ yeah, this is my first choice this is my second choice okay. they're all good that's good to they're know all delicious yeah. Yeah. I like both of them mm -hmm. so yeah but imagine if you're having company, mm -hmm. somebody says I, I want to come over and you say oh stay for dinner but you don't have anything really prepared for mm -hmm. dessert. Yeah. You have a, a freezer full of frozen fruits. You yes. can do this in a hurry yes, and yeah. have something special. For uh, rất là tuyệt vời là đây là những cái uh, thức ăn đơn giản mà chúng ta có sẵn trong uh, tủ đá. Nếu mà có khách tới là chúng ta phải lấy ra hay là các em cần uh, có muốn ai cần ice cream cà rem là chúng ta có để mà cho các em ăn và đặc biệt là không có đường như quý vị đã thấy nên rất là lành mạnh à, đây là một cái gì mà tôi biết bà Peggy có một cái uh, đam mê bà làm những món thức ăn mà cho chúng ta ăn ngon nhưng mà rất là lành mạnh à, một lần nữa rất là cảm ơn sự theo dõi của quý vị khán thính giả 
à, ước mong chúng ta sẽ à, quý vị đón chào những cái chương trình sắp đến và đặc biệt là hy vọng quý vị sẽ à, thử những cái à, món này để cho gia đình quý vị thêm có những cái buổi thức ăn ngon đậm đà và rất là lành mạnh. Yeah, thank you again Peggy for a delicious recipe and I myself want to try them. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. Yeah.